Hello and welcome. Today we've got the 6 ampere M12 battery. This one is, well, if you put it in the charge, it goes. You know, it's it's okay, but there is an issue with it. And so this is called cell imbalance. And I'm going to show you how to find this. And hopefully how to repair it. One of the good things about working these M12 batteries, you don't have to open them to find out if they're cell imbalance. You can find out with a multimeter switch to DC voltage the first thing you do um, is check the voltage coming out the positive and negative terminals that's a positive that's a negative we got 10.78 which is a little low to be quite honest with you um, and if you want to check there's actually three banks of cells in this there's two cells together basically in series connected three three banks in parallel connected in series to each other would be the way to describe it and if you want to check here what they're reading the first bank of cells is reading 3.42 and the second bank of cells I'm going to these two here now is reading 3.96 so the second bank of cells can be read with these two connectors and the third bank of cells can be read with these two connectors and we get the 3.26 so what that means is the middle bank of cells is 3.94 which is nearly a full charge and the uh, the other two banks are below really the bottom what you'd want them to be you'd want them to be 3.5 at the bottom and 4.1 at the top so we've got severe cell imbalance one is one is higher than the other and when that happens if i put that on the charge and it reaches maximum charge when the middle bank reaches about 4 4.1 and then it stops charging even though the other two are well below where they should be so what we've got to do is open it and bring up the cells that are lower than the rest. Some of you will ask, why do I not just put the voltage in the top where I tested it? Um, I have explored that possibility, but that is that doesn't work. It won't take a charge through these. We'll take a charge through these, but we won't take a charge individually through these because um, that's only these are only to tell the charger what's happening with the battery. It only goes one way. It's one way traffic this way. It doesn't doesn't work. Just in case you're curious about that, because it is a good question. There we are. We're out of the pack now. It's all about measuring the banks and understanding where they're where they're connected together. These are easy, you can see to the, these two's up here because they're connecting parallel, positive to positive, and negative to negative. So we can test them first to see what they're like. Put this into shot for you. That's one of the low banks, that's 3.34. So first thing we'll do is put the B6 charger in that and bring that up. Right, we have this B6 charger set to 1S, which is 1 series, and the light pro charge. What it is, we've got to connect the, the positive here, and we can get a good enough connection, and the negative here, um, just here. So here we go, connect it up there. Right, that's charging away now. We'll just leave that. Until that comes up to fully charge. So I'm going to fully charge the three banks of cells. And that will alleviate the problem. I've got a buddy in Canada. He's been working on these for years. These batteries. And he's an expert in uh, Milwaukee really. Milwaukee batteries. And he tells me how important cell balance is in a battery. Uh, point 0.1 of a volt difference between the cell banks. Can drop your battery performance by 10%. Right, so we're reaching near enough capacity there now. Um, 
I'm going to just stop this, take it off, and check the, the bag of cells again to show you what we've got to. Remember, this is well down, it was three point something. Right, so we'll measure that now. That's 4.15, so that's full capacity. And the one that was a higher one was this one. We measured at the top. That's 3.98, so we're going to have to bring that up a little bit to match this one, and then we'll bring the third one up. So we've clipped this on. This bank of cells, that's connected to another cell up here. That will not matter, it'll transfer through. And uh, we'll just uh, put it on to it reaches capacity. Again, we're reaching near capacity. And as soon as we get up there, these two should be in fairly good balance. And then we have to go for a third one. Right, so um, I'm going to turn this off and check the second bank of cells. To see if they have come up sufficiently to match solar to. 4.18, so we'll take that and we'll move on to the third bank if we can get um, access to it here. Right, so there's the third bank there, 3.46. So we've got to try and get that connected without disconnecting it from the pack and bring it up, same as the rest. So here we go again with the charger and the final bank. And again we've got to just play the waiting game. And you'll see this has taken a considerable amount of time, that's 23 minutes and we're not quite there yet. Um, so this is very very time consuming fix but it does the job and gives you a usable battery again. If you do want to do this job yourself, this is a very handy tool, this IMAX B6, and they're not very expensive. If you're doing a few batteries or have a lot of batteries, you will use it, it will be useful. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description and uh, pinned in the comments section of this video. And that'll help you, it's an Amazon link, it'll take you straight to it, and you'll have a look at it. You know you're coming near capacity when you see the dampage that's going into the cells starting to drop that means it's really coming towards where it needs to be right i've uh, just took the charger off i'm going to put this back together and uh, give it a bit of a measure and see what we were fixed now so that's back together we'll just do a wee test on the uh coming out the top to see how we got to hey hey we got and we've got 12.37 that's pretty much perfect 4.28 and 4.06 there's a little bit of imbalance there, but not a wild lot. And I think, to be quite honest, that battery is pretty much perfect in my book. So put in the charge to make sure all's, all's good there. And it's showing a full charge. So I'm calling that fixed. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.